They've hung with Homer, mingled with Marge, and got merry at Moe's. On another subject, you have beautiful eyes. <laughs> They're just dots in circles. Welcome to Watch Moji UK, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 British guest stars in The Simpsons. Yes, that's right. Everyone laugh at the rag. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we've scoured Springfield for the best and most memorable cameos and guest star appearances by British celebrities and actors alongside TV's original animated family. But lady, just like Lady Die, be my princess tonight, but don't die. Number 10, Daniel Radcliffe, Treehouse of Horror 21. The Simpsons sports a rich history of Harry Potter in jokes, but this has to be the best. Guest starring in the mini story Tween Light, Daniel Radcliffe parodies Robert Pattinson and Twilight by voicing a smooth talking vampire who sweeps Lisa off her feet. How'd you do that? Oh, it's these cheap school buses with their squishy metal. It's not Radcliffe's only role in The Simpsons either. He also played the free spirit falconer Diggs who befriends Bart before jumping out a tree. Say something so I know you're not hurt. I'm really hurt. Phew. Special shout out to when Potter writer J.K. Rowling cameoed too, in an episode that also featured Ian McKellen and Tony Blair. Now that's magic. Would an American dollar encourage you to leave us alone? No, but thank you. Number nine, The Who. A Tale of Two Springfields. As undisputed icons of British music, Bands don't come much bigger than The Who, and the famous four-piece totally smashed it for The Simpsons 250th episode. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Duh, trash in the hotel room. The storyline sees Springfield divided over the creation of a new telephone area code. But when The Who play a gig for one half of the town, they end up solving the split by way of rock and roll, with Homer front and center. But we had a handshake agreement with a concert promoter. And that's a sacred bond. Sacred bond. A fan favorite episode. The only disappointment is that Pete Townsend didn't lend his voice. His lines are actually delivered by his brother Paul. I won't get to get what I'm after till the day I die. Number eight, Elizabeth Taylor, Lisa's first word. While most of this flashback episode focuses on Lisa's birth and early childhood, the most memorable moment comes at the close when Maggie forms her first word. Daddy. A classic scene, the pivotal line was actually voiced by a Hollywood icon. It reportedly took Liz Taylor more than 20 takes to get it right, but the end result is a standout moment from the show's history. It nabbed Taylor an invite back for a later episode too, this time cameoing as herself in Krusty Gets Cancelled. I've got to fire that agent. Number seven, Elton John. I'm with Cupid. Solo British musicians are also an ample source of Simpsons guest star potential, and we can't not mention Sting's steering parody of charity pop singles. But this isn't about show business, this is about some kid down a hole or, or something, and we've all got to do what we can. But Elton earns his own entry, if only for the ridiculousness of the storyline he gets involved in. We had to make an emergency landing. It's that damn chandelier again. After an inexplicable mix-up at Springfield Airport, he's quickly caged by Homer before chewing his way to freedom. Next comes a near-death experience alongside Apu before he finally settles down to what he's known for, some good old-fashioned singing. Our man who makes potions in a traveling shoe Number six, Ricky Gervais. Homer Simpson, this is your wife. Fresh out of the office, Ricky Gervais was one of the UK's most popular comedians when Matt Groening came calling in 2004. Oh, you needn't worry. I'm a bit of an elbow man myself, actually. <laughs> bit different, bit weird, not sexual. And the David Brent actor made history by not only guest starring in this episode, but writing it too. For a story inspired by the TV series Wife Swap, Gervais plays Charles Heathbar, Marge's seemingly perfect swap for Homer. One more kind word from her and I am completely smitten. Ricky's writing partner Stephen Merchant has also lent his voice to the show and Gervais has since been invited back, so watch this space for more of the same. Anyway mate, your ice is dripping. Number 5, Simon Cowell, Judge Me Tender. Another serial Simpsons guest star, Simon Cowell's first role in the show was as Henry, the over-demanding head of Maggie's preschool. Maggie, 
we're not a mime school, so we can't take a non-talker. But here's some good news. The Gap will always need sweater folders. But we've singled out this appearance as himself in a story centered on Mo. Judge Me Tender sees the surly barman catch a big break as a TV talent show judge, working his way to the top until he becomes Cal's protege. I really appreciate you showing me around, Simon. Always happy to help the newbies. But Simon's ego just can't stand it, causing Mo's career to quickly crash and burn. It's a cracking cameo, though. Hmm, let me think. Why would I try to sabotage a new judge who just might do what I do for $48 million less? Number 4 Ringo Starr – Brush with Greatness The Beatles and The Simpsons go way back with a host of classic appearances. George Harrison was there for this famous line – Wow, what a nice fella. And Paul McCartney teamed up with Linda when Lisa turned vegetarian. Would you like to hear a song? Wow, that'd be great! Okay. But we've given Ringo center stage for this one. The drummer was the first Beatle to appear in the show, and his scenes are truly something to behold. Surrounded by decades of unanswered fan mail, he finally gets around to replying to Marge, inspiring her to take up painting once again. From Springfield, USA. Gear. Number 3 Mick Jagger and Keith Richards How I Spent My Strummer Vacation As today's highest ranked musicians, these Rolling Stones legends led the way for an episode stacked with star power. As Homer becomes disillusioned with how his life has turned out, Mick Jagger and Keith Richards front a rock and roll fancy camp, allowing Homer and his buddies to realize their rock star dreams. Hello, campers! How you doing? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! With the likes of Lenny Kravitz, Elvis Costello, and Tom Petty also involved, the plectrum packed plot lines strike exactly the right chord, and Homer puts on quite a performance. Baby, 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 baby. Uh -oh. Number 2 Patrick Stewart, Homer the Great. Thanks to his roles in American Dad, Family Guy, and the Emoji Movie, Patrick Stewart is well known for his voiceover work. Well, well, look what we have here, Jonathan. Yep, looks like we got ourselves a couple of nerds. <coughs> But head back to the mid-90s, and this Simpsons role is probably his best bit of animated acting. Stewart stars as number one, a prominent figure in the secret stonecutter society that Homer is desperate to be part of. You have joined the sacred order of the stonecutters, who since ancient times have split the rocks of ignorance that obscure the light of knowledge and truth. Now let's all get drunk and play ping pong! Taking the lead on initiations and instigating a memorable musical number, he's a vital part to a classic Simpsons story. We do, we do. Number 1 Stephen Hawking – They Saved Lisa's Brain Stephen Hawking was well known for his pop culture cameo appearances, but his spots on The Simpsons are especially well remembered. Hawking stopped by Springfield on multiple occasions, even mixing a rap record at one point. Break it down for me, fellas. But we focused on his first appearance. I wanted to see your utopia, but now I see it as more of a fruit topia. The celebrated scientist arrives to find the show's cleverest characters competing against each other, but no one can trump Hawking's intelligence, and he lays down the law accordingly before winding up in Moe's genius. Who's paying the tab? I am. I didn't say that. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK and subscribe for more great content.